Yeah, um, lights on, lights off. Boat shoe season is officially on. And me, I'm Mr. Martin. Mm, yes, sir. S A B Radio. So we have on the line. You just heard the man. His record, I Dream. But here he is on the phone for you, Mr. Theo Martins. What's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? What's going on, homie? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, some some news. Some you know, some people could see it as a setback, but yes, it's uh, it's a good look. Uh, your project uh, was sport, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My project was sport, man. Big shout to my homie sport. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, we had we had this uh, project, you know, can be on television, uh, do for tomorrow. Um, but well, within the stance, we got to want to say much, but there's some stuff going on that we're just trying to get finalized and whatnot. Um, we were just trying to see if it could still get released on the first, but unfortunately we can't, but it's still, you know, it's still a fortunate thing because it's, I think it just, like, it has a potential to be released on a larger scale. All and right. I think that's going to be really, really great. Okay, that sounds good. So, uh, first of all, I, I got to apologize to you, man. We, we had you up here last year. Yeah. Uh, after the release of the birth, and uh, it was before your oh, release yeah. party. Uh, that's been a while, man. Lots been happening with our shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a lot to talk about, get into. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, nah. So, that didn't come out right or whatever. You know, I was uh, still no working the man, video. It was still editing. good with, though. It still definitely appreciate it. But, nah, it'll, it'll come back out. So, right now, of course, we're going to blast this out to the blogs. That's what happens and stuff. You know, so we're going to go and rework the original interview. So, we'll uh-huh. bring it back. Because okay. I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel it was a good interview. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it, man. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I can't even lie to you. All right, so for everyone listening now, watch out for the uh, re-release interview with Theo, the in-depth Theo interview. <laughs> yeah, it was a good interview, man. All right, so uh, let, let's let's get another one in, in the bag right now. So, um, so your name. So, so since then, I know you originally uh, went by the what went by Theo. I'm just Theo, but now it's Theo Martins. Yeah, right? we sta- I mean, I just figured I stapled the. Uh, the first and last name it's just more of who I am you know because when I first came out I was I was still I still went under the DJ moniker you know S class Mm -hmm. Um, but I just wanted to you know be who I was and that's why the whole I'm just Theo just came because it was just we just try to find a way of you know representing who I was but it was just like I am who I am I can't really you know try to find a facade or a certain way to to go about that so I just am who I am so like the Martins just fit well you know and I'm just trying to I figure why not let's let's brand let's brand the name as it is you know I feel it all right. So um, between now and the birth, like you said, there's been a lot going on. Um, you you dropped a fair amount of records, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I don't know. You've been very selective with your leaks. Like yeah. you've had, um, let's see, Too Young comes to mind. Um, Roberta Flack revisited, but I feel yeah. like you know there's been a good amount of Theo out, but not enough to really like. I, I don't know. I feel a lot with the um, the internet MC. Sometimes there's an issue with oversaturation. Most definitely not. And honestly, like, I have a lot of buddies who are in the music biz right now, like, even, like, emerging, like myself, you know? Um, I'm not on a scale there, but I'm still growing. But I see these artists now, and uh, it's just one after another. And it gets to this point because it's like, I mean, they're probably nervous from a standpoint, like, I want people to hear what I'm doing. I'm making this great music. I'm sacrificing time and energy in order to put this art together and, and present it to these people. And they're, they're not receiving it well, you know? You roll down, and people get really, really, like really insecure and, and lack of confidence and they're looking at uh, the, the amount of comments they're getting or the amount of feedback they're getting and they're not really getting much so they throw out more and more and more mm-hmm. and it just throws you into this period of oversaturation but somebody they don't even have to necessarily listen to your music and they're really like I don't want to hear it I've seen too much of this person around yeah. anyway so I just I have to keep that in mind I might have been a little too selective in general I think I could probably say that I mean everybody on my team was like you know maybe you should put a little more records out but I was just very very selective because okay. I don't have I don't have the time nor energy to just do something I didn't want to do. I just didn't feel it in my heart at the time. But now I'm seeing more of the potential of doing things at certain times, like okay. more in a strategic siege, like in a siege, like in a siege type of way. Like, okay. and I'm understanding that now. So I'm really, I'm comfortable now doing what I'm doing now, rather as opposed to forcing it before. Okay, good. All right. So um, let's see. So you did the CMJ Fest, um, South by Southwest. You've had a lot of shows. You opened for Drake when um, he was down in, in Rhode Island yeah, yeah, at URI. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you're, you're on the scene now, but I know before that you were a DJ and um, yeah. you were behind the scenes. So how much did it help you being a DJ and, and being at certain events that you wouldn't necessarily have been invited to? So let's say, um, you know, as, as a new artist, you probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to, to open for Nas, but you had the opportunity to DJ for him. You yeah. Know? So... I think that just creates so much more opportunity. Like, I used mm-hmm. to be worried, like, man, like, 
I get to DJ, like, I, I got to open up for Rock Kim, like, that was amazing, but as a DJ, you yeah. know, I did get to perform one record, which is dope, but I still perform, I still was there as a DJ. Okay. So, like, I used to be like, man, I still want to be able to get these opportunities as an artist, but then I had to think, like, man, I'm getting an opportunities of a lifetime, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it doesn't necessarily matter how or when, but I'm getting these opportunities, and I was just so, I felt like I was just so caught up, I felt, even sometimes as people, were so caught up, they're like, we have to do things a certain way for in order for it to be classified as it progressing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there's certain things that we should already do, but I, I, I just think it was great for me to be able to DJ, you know, open up for Nas DJing. That's all, that's great. Yes, yeah, that's Being great. Being able to do a Rock Kim show, that's great. I feel like that's just opening more doors. And it just teaches me more on like how to make music mm -hmm. as far as DJing. It's just, it's just a like gave, my, a, gave me a broader sense of understanding with music as a whole. Okay, yeah, definitely hit a DJ S class event if you're, around the new england area he holds it down uh, yeah, yeah but um yeah so how much like I, I know just just being around the scene and like before the shows go on there's a lot that goes on so so yeah. being a dj did you see a lot of the things i don't know well, I, I feel like yeah, most, i mean like i started dj when i was 15 i was okay. in the clubs by like 18 you know mm -hmm. um and it was it was crazy because everything's been moving really really fast as far as the dj like i just had the show with guys who last week and like the dj who was on before me uh -huh. His equipment was already messed up, so me jumping on it, and we had to move really quick. It just teaches you to be on the go, you okay. know? And I, I, I use that a lot now as far as making music, as far as being on the stage. So it kind of lessens, like, the stage fright or the sound or whatever, because you know how to, like, hold, hold things over. It's just, I think it's, I've just had this really, really easy, like, rough course into music by just DJing, and it's taught me so much just by, like, being on my toes and being on my feet. Okay. This keeps me really, really alert, and I, I, I kind of appreciate that, to be honest. Why you won't writing raps just to get it on six blocks? I wrote three records, got six stars out of five. So, um, so how how do you meet Sport, producer from Ohio? How how do you get up with him? How do I meet Sport? Okay, hmm. well, 